not of same size. Generally, the dimension of pattern is larger than the casting produced. The extra dimension provided in the pattern is called pattern allowance. It is an important feature as it affects the dimensional characteristics of the casting produced. Thus, when a pattern is prepared, certain allowances should be given on the sizes specified in the drawing so that a casting with the particular specification can be made. The allowances usually considered while designing the pattern are shrinkage allowance, machining allowance, draft allowance, shaking allowance and distortion allowance. Let us now understand each of these allowances. Let us start with shrinkage allowance. Generally during the solidification of molten metal in the mold, we see that the molten metal shrinks in the cavity. So casting produced becomes smaller than the cavity and pattern. Therefore to compensate for this the pattern should be made larger than the casting produced. The amount of compensation for shrinkage is called the shrinkage allowance. Let us now understand what machining allowance is. Sometimes the casting product so obtained has poor surface finish and is dimensionally inaccurate. In such cases the casting product is subjected to machining processes like facing or grinding in order to improve the surface finish. During such processes the thickness of the workpiece reduces. Therefore to compensate for this the part where machining is to be done is made extra thick. Such compensation in thickness is called machining allowance. Let us now understand what draft allowance is. While removing the pattern from the mold, there is always a possibility of damaging the vertical faces of the cavity. Therefore, to compensate for this, a taper is provided on the pattern so as to facilitate its easy Let us now understand what shaking allowance is. Usually while removing the pattern from the mold, we have to shake the pattern all around the vertical faces in order to facilitate easy removal. In this process the size of the cavity gets enlarged. Therefore to compensate for this, the dimensions of the pattern should be reduced. This compensation is called shaking allowance. And now let us understand what distortion allowance is. Sometimes the casting product may tend to distort unevenly during the cooling period of the casting product. Therefore to compensate for this we give a distortion of equal amount in the opposite direction. This compensation is called distortion allowance. Thus we can say that pattern allowance is the extra size given on or taken from the pattern in order to compensate for metal shrinkage to allow machining to avoid metal distortion to draw the pattern easily from the mold and for shaking. Related terms are